um, two AMFUs, repair and refuel equipment, and 64 uh, limplets. So I'm here to help. Yeah. And I'm still <laughs> clogging in at 42. Yeah, I brought as, as fighters, two rovers. I got oh, weapons, yeah. so I only got yeah, more same. I have a, I have a fighter and two rovers. No, so, so I mean, well, okay. So my my question we're is running then, heavy and still have good jump ranges. Is that's yeah, how so, good it is? So, so my question is then, you you don't see this as kind of a uh, an easy path to distant exploration. <laughs> it's just a kind of bonus to whatever everybody else is already doing. I don't really care too much about the challenge of getting out here. I just, if I'm going to go on a deep expedition, I'd rather have a ship that has like all those backups. My my first trip out to Colonia was in an ASP with like a, I think it's maybe a 25 jump range. Yeah. And, 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 you know, almost lost my Rover a couple of times and it was long stretches between repair. You know, the Anaconda can stay out a hell of a lot longer and a lot more self-sufficient. And uh, I'm not I'm not trying to like, gatekeep or be elitist or anything. I'm just actually curious about other explorers because it's like, like, I know DECE is kind of nuts, but this is my first expedition. Like, I've not actually been on one before. This is my first time actually being out with a group. Before this, I was flying a T-6 solo out in the Formidine Rift, you know, so... But I'm just curious about what people think about the way things are moving towards just this constant expansion of jump ranges and oh, all that. So the, question, so the question, I guess, is is this, uh, and I mean, this, if you bear with me, so, this sort of, so what? So, so I guess it makes travel quicker because there's fewer jumps. But are there, apart from those stars that are, you know, really way out, or, or, you know, unreachable, is there a list of, like a roster of unreachable stars that are just out of reach? Either further out from here or um, not really out of. I mean, no, the Western Meridian is Western Meridian is pretty far. The I think one that's out of reach that everybody kind of wants to go to, even if they don't know about. Like as soon as you know about it, you want to go there. Is a Cygni X three, which is I think three hundred light years from the closest star. Yes, that's the question. Me. Like it, 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 it is in terms of just making the, it easier to get to Beagle, then fine. But but is it actually expanding the kind of reachable universe, or is it just a kind of a you know, is it a speed issue, which is less interesting for me? Well, they only increased the jump range a, a little bit, which was just, you know, kind of a god roll from the old system anyway. So at least in terms of engineering the modules, I don't know if any of the newer ships don't seem to have any longer jump ranges, do they? And nice well, diamond back um, explorer the, there, uh, man. That was my first. I, I, well, I mean, the, uh, the, 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 what, the Guardian blueprint for the, uh, the Guardian jump booster or whatever was basically supposed to add a just instantly add base 10 uh light years oh yeah that's right that would be that could get you up to 80 85 easy in a conda or a diamond back maybe yeah no, oh, that's what you, diamond you, back fan it, 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 so, so if yeah I, I, I love mine but but so if that's the point i guess if there are stars that come within reach at every buff and you, know, you get a guardian module and you can reach a star that no one's been to and it's kind of got some interesting stuff there if i was frontier i'd be placing things in those systems personally yeah and actually you'd be pushing the frontiers right that's what it's called well so i left the bubble with the distant expedition so all this engineering stuff is uh, lost on me but i think i'll get back after uh, the uh, point expedition is done and uh, do some engineering on my counter uh, I can push it to 34.7 uh, on fumes. Uh, I can push it to 34.7 on fumes. Yeah, go on. Uh, it'd be it'd be good to get to get your stock ship engineered. That'd be amazing. But like I say, the you know, bigger point was the limit, and then it was Isham's reach with the new frontier, and then there'll be, I guess, I don't know what's out beyond there. Is there anything any beyond Isham? Is that it basically? I think there's nothing further out. I mean, there's 
there's obviously some appeal to being able to get to a star that only a few can get to. But for me, it's more just about there's so many unexplored systems still out there. So even if it's not unreachable, um, it, there's still so much out to see. Oh, so I just say, I mean, absolutely. Wonder... I mean, you're absolutely right with that. I mean, like, I've, I've literally been like, I'm, I'm fucking nobody, and this is my first expedition. This is my third time to Beagle Point, technically, but all of that has been during DECE. I rushed out here before 3.0 to actually record the planet surfaces, and then make a video. I re I got here the day before 3.0 dropped, recorded all the planet surfaces, and then loaded in the day afterwards and loaded all the new planet surfaces of Beagle Point to make a video of it, of their comparison, comparative changes. But like, I, I, I've been, I, I, there, there, there are systems 150 light years from us right now that have not been explored. I mean, that, that's the thing about people say, look in your back garden, don't they? You know, you, you take a hundred light year cube in Sagai and there's what, thousands, tens of thousands of stars. That, that no one's been to at all ever. You just gotta watch out for that that name that we all know. We all know it, but we don't say it. At least not, <laughs> at, at least not in DECE. We I don't know, know it. We all Maybe know it. Maybe validating. Or the A word. Uh, uh, I don't know the name. I've come across a lot of those guys' kind of systems. I feel like I know who you're talking about. Uh, wait, 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 when I you live on the when you live on the edge of the rim, you know his name intimately. Yeah, the A word, and quite a oh, bit no. between the both. Yeah, the A, the A word. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. <laughs> Luckily, I've <laughs> never you? seen it before. Yeah, you've same, seen yeah. it. The Not A word. Up. So I hit one little rock, lost half my health, and really appreciate the. Uh, where you can repair with the 50 or 100% extra buff. It's useful, but it doesn't mean a whole lot when you when you collide with the ground. I mean, FDEV has a serious problem with SRV damage in groups. Yep. Well, I found the premium repair, the 200% to hull, is quite useful, and it stays with you. Um, if you board your ship and let your ship repair your SRV, you still keep the premium repair. Yeah, oh, yeah, that definitely. Like, that is so. That is so good. Like we've had, we've had races in uh, in DEC. We've had races where it's like everybody's like, find a system where you can like get your one hundred percent repair, and then fully repair up, do a race of two or three laps, and then get back in your ship and, and get it all back. So, so, so actually, just quickly on the A word, I don't want to be like a bit too clicky about it. Uh, bigger point nine. First discovered by. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Thirteen jumps. I mean, I, I like the guy. I, I mean, he gave me honors personally when uh, I both discovered one of the furthest uh, Earth likes from. Well. Trevor discovered it, and then I went back and reported it and got my name on it because we had a race. But uh, he he gave us both props for finding the furthest Earth-like world from from uh, from Sagittarius, I think. And then literally like two days later, he found a new one. So I was like, "What's the point?" Oh, okay, thank you, everyone. Whoever, why are we not saying his name? Is it just because we can't pronounce it? Oh no, I don't mind. It, I let Neil. He's just he's just a, a, a god of experience. He's he's been everywhere. It's crazy. Yeah, it, crazy. Yeah, I'll let Neil is a legend, and uh, he has all the records, but he doesn't have the record, which uh, that like I, I'm 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 ashamed of my mistakes, and I own my mistakes personally. But uh, if you go on uh, what is it, EDSM, and you look at Stellar Records, the record. Is right there, and it's all because of DECE. Number one, Cheng Sotome. Hey, you ever just landed in that anaconda and had a difficult time with it? Congratulations, it was strange. I think the only thing I have is the most B-class stars in a single system. 
Like I found one system with six of them, but uh, nothing else so far. Like I, I've 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 found and lost so many records so quickly, so fast. But uh, having that that number one, that uh, what is it, an O class? What is it? Hold, let me check. Yeah, furthest star from Sol. Oh. Yeah, O class, furthest star, number one. There you go. Just just scratch out my name and write D E C E in there because it wouldn't have been found without them. So. It would appear I'm in a different instance this time. Let's reload. Oh, where has been like your favorite places where you have been or the hardest places? Who, who do you mean? Yes, like uh, a place where you feel proud, where that you managed, or I like, uh, like you were might you were even thinking you might not be able to get there, but you actually did get there. So that kind of places. Oh, um, I mean, I, like for me as being in DECE, Western Meridian was one, but that's like I literally engineered my whole ship to get there. Um, other than that. It's not really about places I've been that I've been like, I'm not sure I'm going to get here. It's just things that I've found. Weird stuff that, like, nobody else has ever looked at or seen. Like, there there, there are literally two clusters of uh, brown dwarfs on the edge of the galaxy that nobody has ever touched. And I went there to find out that nobody's ever touched them. And it's like, I need to fucking... At some point, I need to come back here and actually explore all these and scan them all and like do a proper survey like a like a proper explorer but for now i'm i'm just i'm just running i'm just running as fast as i can and that's what i that's literally what i do for for the expedition i run as fast as i can like everyone else is flying you know one to two one to two thousand light years a day but for me on a good day i'm doing 10 to 15 and I'm out there in front ahead of everybody looking for base camps or looking for interesting points that maybe they, people want to visit between our waypoints I don't think I can travel that much per day I mean the most I have done is probably not much more than 10,000 and those are in days where I pretty much don't have anything else to do and I just feel so burnt down like, uh, well, I, I I live a thousand light years below the below the uh, plane though too, so the Neutron Highway is my best friend. Yeah, and an anaconda, in a sixty light year anaconda, you can do five thousand light years an hour, so ten thousand light years is just a couple hours of flying. Oh, yep. it's just that I don't. I well, I I have a fifty-five uh, light year jump wrench in an ASP, so that's good. But I don't uh, find too many uh, neutron stars around the the rim, so that's why I haven't really been using it. But maybe around the core i would yeah they're, well, they're not they're not really in the rim and especially out here up no, up in the northern section there's really not a lot out here so like i have to deal with standard travel the same as everybody else which is i mean to me it's infuriating like it's it's i grind my teeth every every couple jumps i'm just like oh there are no neutron stars what is this cuz i'm addicted to them I, I am literally addicted. Ask anybody in the circumnavigation chat, and they're just like, yeah, neutron stars are literally a drug to Chank. He's addicted to it. I uh, <clears throat> I had quite a, quite a hard time with the far end of the Perseus arm, trying to finish up DCE. That was kind of the... There's a couple spots. Um, I think it was like the south, Wait. The south Meridian, and then the... Uh, Why is... The far, far end of the Perseus arm. I think it was like the last two waypoints before you headed back towards the core. I think Berlum Bell Murtok was saying something. What was that? I was gonna ask, why is there no EDSM badge for visiting Beagle? Uh, because they set a uh, sixty-five thousand light year badge rather than a Beagle badge. Yeah, it's kind of like a more general. Uh... Batch. 
I mean, if you already got beyond 65,000 lightyears, you very likely will visit Beagle Point. It's kind of like the most popular place around here. Although I found, I find the, uh, how, how was it called? Oh, Semotus Beacon more, uh, more appealing, personally. So about Samotus Beacon, um, does any one or group, as I was looking around the forums and doesn't seem to be anything all that active lately, take care of the uh, farthest distance from Soul record? Farthest distance from Seoul is still uh, the uh, from basically from Beagle Point. If you look about a hundred light years further north on the plane, there's a star out there, and that's literally it. There's yeah. nothing close to it or nothing yeah, beyond it. The, yeah, that that system with Samotus Beacon, and then you yeah, can go Samotis out Beacon. past that with your warp drive to set the record. Wondering if anyone takes care of that. So I have a specific interest because I'm going to try to set that record. That's one I could find anyway. Don't get stuck. I do yeah. know that there, no there, are, there are stars that are even more uh, far away from Seoul than uh, Semotus Beacon, but they are certainly impossible to reach. So I honestly doubt uh, the record will be broken anytime soon, like if at all. Oh, I have a. I can warp for at least a hundred hours. I think I'll break it. Yeah, I mean the thing is, it, it, at that point, it's not even actually like hyper jumping to another system. It's like going from the system and just traveling as far as you can before you run out of fuel. Yeah, like, with hopefully not interrupted because you don't want to reaccelerate. Just the sole um, distance up there. Then, if if you were to travel like that and then. Lock to Seoul. Does the distance reflect that that, that travel? If you un if you lock the Seoul and then leave the map, yes. Unfortunately, I don't have a permit, so I'll have to lock Astral Centauri and then do the difference of the light years between them. Good enough. Yeah, like how much can you actually travel with uh, a lot of fuel uh, loaded in and uh, very very. Uh little energy consumption i can I've, yeah at least the last person hours. who tried to set that record needed rescued by the fuel rats so she only went 50 hours so about like 10 light years more i got a lot yeah it, it, I, I if i did the math right i think it's 2.6 hours to travel at full speed to travel one light year that's actually not that much, considering like you take one hour to get from uh, to cross all the way to uh, Hutton Orbital, which is like what one fifth of a light year away from Alpha Centauri. Yes, and it appears to take just under an hour to accelerate the full speed. At least when you were anywhere, you know, when accelerating from the star. I don't know if I were to come out of warp and accelerate again. I know it's not instant, but it might take a while. Maybe yeah, uh, this trick might be more useful to actually reach some stars that are quite uh, far away. But well, I mean, yes, that they are not possible to reach. But maybe by just traveling quite a while in Supercruise, you might be able to. Unfortunately, what's your max energy difference? It, and well, and unfortunately, you can't warp as far over all that time as you could get in, like you know, something and jump, or something and put Jumponium in and jump. Because that's hundreds of light years as opposed to as opposed to like twenty or thirty or forty. Well you have to jump to load the system. So even if you do the journey, you don't actually ever arrive. I mean it's it, it, it's a jump event that, that that loads the stars and planets and you know does all the procedural generation, so you can't actually do it unless you do a jump. And the distance traveled in system doesn't make any difference to the distance that the jump drive uses. Really? Yep, really. Oh, that sucks. It has actually been tried, but uh, the hyperspace sequences are kind of load screen. See, that's really good to know. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's really important. That means I can go farther. That way, I don't have to worry about covering the last 50, 40 light years I traveled.
because it's map distance, right? And map distance is star to star only. Yep. Good to know. Listening to the lineup of SRVs and ships as the SRV scanner goes across them and beeps and yells at me, I'm kind of wondering if I, if I could actually land and position people in a sequence to make a proper, like, like EDM beat. <laughs> yes. I, I know it sounds ridiculous and it would take a lot of work, but I'm just wondering. I'm just thinking in my head weird, weird stuff like I always do. Ladies and gentlemen, I have arrived. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hooray. Oh my god, is that is that really him? Oh, I froze. Uh some of those. I'm not I'm not seeing him in here, so that must have been somebody else's voice, but uh I know Nimdoc also landed at the same time somebody that you said that, so Oh yeah, no, I'm just in Sisto, I'm scanning Beagle Point, um, and I also need to switch over to the Fleet Comm group. Uh, I, just, I, I got all excited, I was like, oh, hail, the pr the king is here. <laughs> we, we, we are, we are, we are, we are memeing a faux religion in DEC. <laughs> all based around Nimdoc. The, 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 the Nimdoc basically Nimdoc basically motivated the type of commander and explorer that I have become and which is why I can say you know yeah I'll do five I'll do four or five K a day normally 10 K a day if I push it and 15 K a day if I need like it's all because of him and uh, it, it's become kind of an in joke in the uh, circumnavigation group that we actually call it we actually have a thing called the Nimdok Maneuver, <laughs> if you look it up. Oh, what's that about? That's interesting. Oh, the Nimdok Maneuver, it, it, it's literally to go, basically, if, if, you were to, if you were at point A and point B is directly in front of you, you go 90 degrees perpendicular to point B. So basically, if 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 your A and B is in front of you, you, turn you turn to your right, and you travel n at ninety degrees for a thousand light years. Then, after a thousand light years, you turn ninety degrees left, turn a thousand light years, and then turn ninety degrees left and backtrack a thousand light years before going to where you actually meant to go. Kind of like a square shape. I thought that was a pretty much standard maneuver to avoid uh, running into uh, <laughs> already scanned stuff. Well, <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 a, it's a common maneuver, but like the fact that it's it's exactly 90 degrees, turn 90 degrees, turn 90 degrees, then turn 90 degrees, then turn 90 degrees and go back is what makes it... But I, I have personally expanded that, so it's no longer a thousand light years 
it's turn 90 degrees and travel 10,000 light years. So then don't turn... freak out if you're in an SRV. I probably won't crush you. So, so basically, I've, I've basically just added a zero to the Nimdok maneuver myself because I am his, uh, I'm his number one most trusted and faithful head priest of the of the of the meme religion. <laughs> I'm popping off of the memorial, then I'm going to come visit. What planet we landed on? Uh, two. Beagle oh, right next to the memorial. Two, Wonderful. Yeah, it's right next to the memorial. I'm going to reset my computer really fast. I'll be back in like five minutes maximum. Yeah, mine crashed and I got dumped from the instance. So, looks like we yeah. got at least three now. I'm going to be uh, restarting it just after I post my application to the 65,000 light year club. Is there a new round four for that? The last one I saw hasn't been updated since September. It was round three. Yeah, there's a, a sticky post in the forums. Um, I don't have any forums, but if any of you can throw it into one of the Discord public channels, that'd be great. Thank you. And much appreciated. And okay, it looks like I can get a little closer. I had um, really dangerous discovery running. It actually crashed my computer while I had uh, really dangerous also running. Oh crap, I didn't hit somebody, so, did I? So if anybody else is doing the same and you're getting booted, FYI. Commander Balmurtok looking for a wing invite. There is an uh, anaconda hovering above my head that doesn't realize that when no? you aim when you aim down at the ground, you can't keep control over your uh, stabilizers. Oh, okay, you, okay, you have, okay. You have to you aim. Have to aim up? You have to aim up. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. Did, uh, do I own anyone any materials? Oh no, no. I'm like I'm I'm I'm. Uh, that, that's the thing we learned in uh in 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 uh in in DECE is uh, if you aim up, you stay stabilized. Minimum effect. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. It was, was kind of funny. I, I, I'm not, it, no, it's it's hilarious to me because I'm the one you're directly above, and I don't really care because, I mean, for me, so for me, whatever, for me, whatever happens, you know, it's like, like I can I can sit here and be like, oh, Colonia, it's only forty six thousand light years away, but I know for for yeah, some others, no, I think for, for, for some others, I'd probably thing. just I'd probably mm. crush like two of you. So maybe this ending is such a good idea from that direction. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'm just, it's, uh, like, for, like I said, for me, not a problem. If I lose an SRV or two or all of them, I don't really care. I'll just, I will literally fly across the galaxy, go get them and be back in a week. So it's not, it's I'm, not a I'm thing. I'm on my last one, so I'm sensitive to people's suffering. I do like the pink jets, though. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm a fan of the purple. Hot pink. Let's get that straight. Yes, I it's, mean, hot, it's hot pink. Well, because the anaconda doesn't show the purple jets very well. The uh, so, the the Lacon ships show the purple jets pretty good, as do the South Kruger. But the uh, like the 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 the, the fertile lands are the anaconda that and some of those they don't show hey, purple do, very. It show, it looks it looks so, like blue. It looks like blue. you guys all just move back just a little, make the circle just a little bigger so I don't bend aluminia. I just want to take a quick picture of this, and then I will uh, move it out of the way. Can I get an invite? Who is asking? I see if you see. Commander Belmer, talk. I don't think we're friends. Uh, yeah. Anyone here? Hello, anyone? Hello. Yeah, one of our explorer friends needs an invite, a uh, wing invite. Uh, looks like I am I not know, in the main instance. Oh, um, but hey, so I I know this is weird, but 
for Beagle Point Expedition, if you haven't been there, or no, excuse me, if you have been there, uh, Sikja VZM D82, which is Maya's Mountain, she hasn't been back to get her name tagged on the planet. Um, not going to say how to deal with that or do anything, just, you know, let you know it's 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 her find and we're hoping that we can make it a point of interest because it's it's really cool it's a 20 kilometer high mountain out of nothing and uh oh i think i saw a screenshot earlier of that that, that thing is awesome yeah i mean if you want to visit i definitely i would advise it um, but you know like returning exploration data mm -hmm. i don't know how people do that like i'm i'm i generally manage it pretty pretty much like uh system by system basis until I'm after until I'm at the end of an expedition or at the end of my own fucking run or whatever and then I'm just like turn it all in so I'm sure you guys are going to turn it in somebody's going to credit for it and all that stuff but just you know when it comes into uh being requested for a point of interest you know make make sure that Maya gets credit for it um and yeah uh, Huskier Bravada like wing that. beacons we can get you in. But yeah, anyone yeah, yeah. who's doing something like points of interest or when something, should be on? trying to get them to quickly get to... Um, uh, is someone under me doing that on purpose, or am I hitting somebody that's 90 and 90 to move? I think you are okay? notching on this JV. Wing, uh, beacon the storm. Wing, invite, please? Wing, please? Coming into Bravada. No, somebody is intentionally driving directly underneath you and... Okay, okay, just want to make sure. You. Did anyone oh, AFK? Three people in supercars here with me. I mean, if you know me from Eve Online, I'm a total dick, but you know. That's Eve Online. And, and, and who, who, whoever was trying to fly their SRV into you just crashed my game. So, uh. <laughs> Bastard. Sh shall we try to move over to your instance? Because this one's getting less and less populated, I feel. Someone asked for uh, a win. Well, thank you. Kind of funny because actually it's a bit less laggy than the yesterday. Or at least I feel it's less laggy. Okay, could I request a wing invite, please? Who said that? Uh, Shimoza Shinta. I do not think we are friends. Um, but I know a few people in this channel are with me, so. I'm looking. We have like 10 people left here now. Got it, thanks. Yeah, who, whoever that was, they're, uh, by flying into you and causing, uh, shield collisions, it, it threw me out of the, uh, instance and crashed me, but I'll be back. And in greater numbers. Um, well, I'm, I'm just... How many people are we It's just a Chief Star Wars joke. I'm, I'm... Uh, I'm, not, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure if I. I'm not sure if I should laugh or feel uncomfortably you inconsequential. Feel <laughs> like yeah, it's, I'm, it's one or the not other. The ship you are looking for. No, it's 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 way worse than that. It's there's a. It's definitely sexual. It's. <laughs> 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 it's dangerous after dark. Well, it is pretty dark out here. We're on the edge of the galaxy, so, uh, man pile? Oh boy. Oh, no, no, no. I take a hard pass. Hey, let's get some wing invites. Someone wanna. I'm still wing in the wing with, uh, Apuciak, or however that is pronounced. It's close <laughs> enough. I see a hole. King, do you need a wing invite? I do, yes. Just pop me one and I, I can leave this here. People, other people can grab it too. Currently orbiting yeah. around like specific area. I'm trying to find you, buddy. Four wing invites all at the exact same time. Just gonna pick the first one. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Someone put their wing beacon on. You guys remember the time where there was an NPC that was kind of attacking us at the beginning of the expedition? Yeah, and I had to kill him. But I fucked up while doing so, big time.
Wow, fire phrase. Whoever's dancing in though, is that a cutter or a the white ship, silver, black, spinning? Anyone? That's me, it's a clipper. Clipper. Beautiful, dude. That looks pretty good for having been out way out way out here. I wanna well, Yeah, it's a one. white paint job on top of the regular white paint job, so it's uh, the base actually helps a lot. I want to have tunnel boring machines. Literally. Uh, uh, to Elon Musk. Yeah, the boring company. We need that up in this game. Seriously, we do. Special <laughs> SRVs to go underground. Tunnels and chambers underground. Uh oh, I think I it was went into the ground before in the SRV. <laughs> This isn't Minecraft. Game engine doesn't allow for that. Oh, I crashed. I thought I was invincible. <laughs> oh, where will the ships gone? I'm gonna like get a bite to eat. You thought you were the lizard king. Oh man! You thought you could do anything. Uh, famous last words. Yeah, and I see for myself. Yeah. Are we gonna have a couple of SRVs and SLS exploding this time? Just for good old time. Uh, yes, I had brought plenty. Did people... Sorry, I, I was just getting a bite to eat. Were there some, some low wakes? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> Tell me who's the jump. When is the big um, meetup? It should people? be at 20 o'clock officially. 20 hundred, so three hours from now. 20, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. so there, what this right now is the quote meeting meetup. Uh, Henka and Macros are going to have their live stream for DECE in two hours, I think, and then an hour after yeah. that is when there's going to be group events and maybe a launch to somewhere even though most of us are probably gonna jump one star and then come right back so yeah come right back this is this is the big place good because i want to know when's the optimum time for me to dump all my cargo in the middle of an SRB circle it's gonna no be launch and oh, uh, launch. ragnar Food, i did attempt booze, everything. i did attempt one already and you got to be careful you have to do it on a side instance that someone's streaming on because if there's too many people they immediately blow up it's so sad damn i loaded in an instance yeah, with nobody you gotta, you gotta go to get in an instance with like 10 people instead of the 20 and then you can drop a bunch reinstancing the necessary or the necessity to reinstance is perfectly routine because there's so so many people here i think oh, i'm uh, in the same the instance shit. now as a Pewtsiak? <laughs> I see... Seven, you seem to be leaking something green there, sir. <laughs> it's Thargoid blood. Not, star, oh, not Thargoid gosh. gyneria. Oh, oh. Well, I'm, I'm green. So it could be me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my ship runs on Thargoid blood. My ship runs on lipid drones. My ship runs on lemons. My ship runs on my space madness. Mine runs on good old fashioned bourbon and whiskey. Damn. No one in this instance. Do I need to join a wing and then rejoin an instance? Pretty much. Yeah, basically. Join a wing, pop out, and then come back in. Anyone want to pop Keith Drow and invite? I'll need one too. I see smoke yeah, trades too. in the distance. Uh, 
Thanks, Rex. Alright. So, right. Yep, yep. We have the uh, campfire illuminated. I know if we're gonna try and go SRV circle, drink some ale. It's not a campfire without a fire, right? Oh no. Oh no. We have money. Does anyone need repairs before I land? I'm doing repairs too, if anyone needs them. I could need some. Well, 93%, <laughs> if you call, call, can call that needing repairs. I definitely, oh, I load. I definitely load. need repairs. I mean, I dropped myself down to 70, so I kind of need them. My Are any of the SRVs streaming right now? I dropped my gold point to 40. I see the circle, yeah. It was, well, it's not really. It is, yet. it's one person. Oh wow, fire. explosion. Oh, we, just had a <laughs> we just had an SLF go boom. I was wondering if you're welcome. Who was that? I didn't even that see me. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, oh man, I got There's that light on fire. <laughs> hey, could keep yeah. the drogue yeah. in the wing and fight again? What did we lose? An SLF. Who needs a wing invite? Sorry? You got it, thanks. Me. All good. Okay. I need one as well. I need one. That's alright. I have um, 13 more after the one that I'm in right now. So, 14 total. Um, did any of the SRVs in the circle get uh, knocked back by the, the explosion? Because it looked like not, it looked like debris and some SRVs flying backwards after they exploded. That was, that was pretty close, but I'm still down there. Oh, no. Nagi, I've got you. Where are you? Hello. Um, Hello. Right are we yes, Nagi. Where is this round two? Nagi, I want to pull up a bit off the ground. It needs to be... I need a little bit of space for you. Oh, well, I'm with eight people. I'm with four or five people. It'll do. Hopefully Ruckus is out there. I got a beer for you, Ruckus. I landed my uh, SLS. I was gonna say we could use some of the conga ale. I don't know if we drank it all last time. Well, I I brought a um. Hang on a second. I'll bring some out. I bought a Jack a Jacques Quintinian still. Yeah. So we could just make booze for everybody. Oh, I'm in the. I'm in the Is that the one that makes alcohol out of anything? Yep. Yes. And a hunting mug to pour it in. And I'm gonna kick them both out the airlock when I when I set that record. Yeah, but you don't want to drink booze out of a hot mug. Hot mugs are for coffee. That's true. <laughs> but I, I fail to see the hot. problem. But only Canadians know that, so to hell with it. Right, thank you, sir. No problem. I've got a few bug problems on my uh, Actually, guys, I've got SLF. a bit of a problem. I only have one conga A left. I think you've got that SRP on top of you. So what other booze would you like? Would you like oh. some rum, some whiskey, some wine? Vodka. Do you have any Lavian brand? How, how about meat? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'll drop one of those. How's that? Lavian brandy coming up. I'm going to try to drop it in the middle of you guys' SRVs, all right? All right. All right, so this is my third of four. If it explodes, whatever. Ragnar, you've already seen me explode like three SRVs over the past couple trips. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm trying to find a parking spot. I think I just... Yep, I just crashed them all. I tried doing the camera bug, and uh, that broke my game. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm looking at a slideshow of go. zero FPS. One Lavian Brandy. I missed the Lavian Brandy drop, and I'm the one who ordered it. My game is I crazy. got that. I got the drop. Well, that, that right. short flight uh, seemed to fix my FPS problems. Come on, you yeah, don't I leave think my friend just well. died. 
chick drink. Yeah, I'm gonna put the other lady. Hey, 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 don't take that. That's don't bogart that. That's for everybody, man. The idea is to spit it out in the middle of the circle of the SRVs. So that way we can all enjoy it. Where'd you go? It's uh, Gambari. Can I get a wing invite? Could I get one as well? Seeing a bunch of SRVs fighting over a bottle of Latvian brandy. Sorry. I didn't say we're fighting over it, we're just enjoying it. Enjoying it roughly. <laughs> nice. This instancing issue is not an issue. It'd be, be so much more fun if we could, you know, put 40, 50, 100 commanders together and not have constant crashing and other issues. We can only dream of a future without instancing. Yeah. Oh, oh man. It's going to happen anytime soon. Oh, uh, speaking of a lot of people, um, if you guys want, we have an entire week here. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, want to get their um, all what what do you call it? Um, all elites on all four things, but nobody ever wants to touch CQC unless they're playing with other people. Yes, yes. Uh, gonna... I promise you, it is a thousand times more fun if you play with friends instead of randoms because the randoms are usually level fifty and will pretty much obliterate you. So. I, yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to get a few groups together and just kind of play deathmatch and screw around. A bunch of explorers trying to kill each other since we don't get that, that could be much. So in other words, BPE <laughs> plays CQC. Yeah. So, yeah. Dude, <laughs> acronyms yeah, for days. Yeah. I've been CQC trying to find a game for <laughs> weeks, months. I can never yeah, it takes a while, yeah. See, I just CQC know, around to here. practice for when I have to be a fighter. How does yeah, CQC exactly. even work? Um, can you choose it's, a different a, ship, or is it just, just your ship that you got from the main game? No, 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 no. It's, it's a, a ship separate completely. Game. It's separate it's from the game mode. completely. Yeah. So you immediately mm -hmm. immediately got access to all weapons and ships, or do you have to do something first? You have to work it's on a, them. No, you do yeah, it, get them. Every level you get specific kinds of upgrades and stuff to fighters, and I think you also as well as fighters, there's the uh, Eagle. What, what are the ships? There's Eagle the side and Sidewinder. And I think that's it. You start but, yeah, off as a Sidewinder, then you get the Eagle or Car Condor. And the, yes, the Condor fighter. Just but yeah, each one has different perks and stuff, and then each one has different guns that you can like manage and move around, and once you get a good loadout, you start doing well, you'll get better. And basically, you play to win, so the higher you go up, the higher of a chance you're going to win whatever match you go into. So say you're level 25, you go against a bunch of level 2s, you're going to have way better crap. So you play okay. to win, basically. By the way, there hey, was, what, what was an awesome series of front, flip, uh, front flips there. <laughs> hey, move perfect, you're on Yeah, camera. I brought those two front flips on my stream, man. But also, so, even I if love... you don't win every time, you still do get advancement, so it's not like you'll never get there. Why did my crew commander literally just boost towards the ground? <laughs> <laughs> like right in front of me, just boosted straight at the ground. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Did it touch it? Oops. The shields are still up. That was surprising. Holy shit. That scared me to death. Come on, get your brakes on, get your brakes on. I'm on an anaconda too. Like, holy shit.
But yeah. All right. Um, Am I in the same instance that I was before? No, I don't see you. I don't think I am. Woohoo! Nah, I saw being fired in the back. Why do you guys think that Type 1 fighter isn't in CQC? Like, it's kind of weird, don't you think? Hey, you hit my ship! But yeah, if you guys get bored of uh, doing this after the meetup in a couple hours here, if you guys get bored of that in a little while, then maybe a few of us can go into CQC. It only takes, a, what, eight people to make a full queue? So, I mean, a deathmatch game is like eight people. So it will one make the game immediately. So it's either four or eight people you can get a group. I think it might be just four, but if we get two groups, then boom, you get a game and a bunch of people. If you guys want to just farm the rank a little bit, even a little bit. Yes. Who's in that? Uh, who's up? in the blue and silver fighter? Uh, somebody want to wing me back in? I uh, crashed. So is CQC uh, free oh, for all deathmatch or me. team deathmatch? So there's deathmatch, oh, team deathmatch, and capture the flag. Yeah, the regular death, like free for all, is probably the best one. It's honestly the easiest because it's basically kill anyone on site. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier to deal with uh, for the style that it is. It's they tried making an esport out of it. That's what they were gonna try and get it into for younger people, but it didn't take off very well because it's not a game that's designed to be able to do that very well. So it's just kind of a side game, but it's it's cool. It's a cool mini game. I enjoy it. What a I lot. think it'd be really cool is if if you can like access it from inside your ship as a mini game, just like that would play be so much easier. Your you know how awesome that'd be dealing with, like dude, like seriously, system panel, like oh hey, I want to open up my oh, thing. Oh, we you, have like, a wing of people. Hey, we invite my wing to uh, a lobby CQC. and we just go play video games. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, we're tired Stay of getting space, blown up in, you know, um, yeah, these combat zones and small ships, so let's just blow the shit out of each other in CQC. Yeah, exactly. Take out <laughs> your, you know, you take out your fights over there. Kill your friends. Have some fun. Yeah, you don't lose anything. In fact, I think you make credits by dying. Yes, you do. You make <laughs> so, credits and you by... you actually get them into the real game, so you'll, you'll be yep. fine. It's great. You've just created a, 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 a submission, right? You need to write it up, so you've got... You got something like a. I mean, it's like not section. much credits. Like you can't like farm it for credits and make millions, but. Yeah, it's a couple hundred here and there, but you're not losing credits. You're making credits. But honestly, way, if it's a lot of credits, money. if you think it's a lot of credits to you, and you're out here, you should... you're gonna make a lot of credits when you get back home. <laughs> yeah, if if you think if you think CQC is gonna make you a lot of credits and you've made it to Beagle Point, then your exploitation data is gonna make you one hell of a. It's gonna blow, blow you away. Tree. If you're yeah. lucky, it might make yeah. you like a few wait, billion. Wait. CQC is say, I've already credits. made over a billion off this expedition so far. He actually well, if you're doing DCE, it's a different thing. A lot less people do circumnavigation. CQC is earning you credits for the main game? Yeah. Lol. Yeah. Not yep. much, but yeah, still yeah. does. Yeah, it's a little bit, but when you win matches and stuff, you get a little bit of a reward. Plus, there's other stuff too. And uh, you also get your rank, so that's good. Quad um, Elite. I could actually go for a CQC game right now while we're waiting. I mean, I'm down. Let me just get we'll down. We'll lose the, the instance, though. We'd have to re instance everyone. Yeah, whatever. Here. That's not hard. Everyone can learn how to fly here a little bit. Everyone's not in And any, also, if anyone has an SLF and is really bad know. at flying, do CQC yeah, like to me. get better at it. Yeah, I, I brought 16 for practice. <laughs> And I've already used two for uh, campfires. I have six Taipans. So I had six, but easy. then I very quickly turned that into one, so I went back and got more. Very quickly turned that into one? Yeah, I had six <laughs> six fighters, six Taipans, and then I had um, five, five two boys. SRVs. And after blowing up one SRV and five Taipans, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to... Go get four SRVs and 16 Taipans. Much easier to deal with. And flew all the way back out to Beagle Point, so... Yeah, I think we still have an um, hour and 45 minutes. Let's call it an hour and a half. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of time. Um, 
Do Until the uh, live stream starts, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm gaming if anybody wants to. So, yeah, if anyone wants to queue up, then just make sure whoever's wanting to play is uh, friends with each other. It's a lot easier to invite people if you're friends. Alright, I'm gonna. Ooh, I love the teal on that uh, G97. Yeah, let's do it. I've got no SRVs left, so I'm, I'm itching to do something. Let's, uh... let's do it. All right, let me land because I want to at least be on the planet. Gee, bro. Yeah, that's the arena. All right. Actually, I guess it really doesn't matter since we're all leaving anyway. So yeah, I'll just hover. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pop out and. Uh... Whoever wants to join me, I can invite if you're on my friends list. You mean uh, to, to a CQC match? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can just screw around, oh, kill each other, oh, yes. why not? I would look, I would like to do that. Yep, I'm game, let me uh, talk up. Yeah, same. Yeah. Right. Like Ruckus, you staying in? If you would, send me a wink. I actually just did that. I'm sending invites in the uh, CQC mini. Alrighty. Who's doing the CQC? Who should I add? Pretty much everybody. You can add King Inferno, Commander K I N G underscore I N F three R N zero. Super hard to remember. It's been so long since I tried CQC. I think the last time I tried it was I know, just, right? just because like I was exploring and I kind yeah. of got bored and said, Oh, let's try CQC. Like I have never tried it. Alright. It's a lot it's of fun, so trust me. It's just difficult to get a game if you just join it randomly. Yeah, exactly. But if you have, like, a bunch of groups just all together in a Discord like this, then we'll definitely find a game probably with each other, too. Yeah, yeah because not... there is no such thing as NPCs for CQC. Alright, I'm a complete version of oh, we have a full squad. Frozen. I'm an FPS player, so uh, NPCs are the same thing as bots. And we have a joke about bad players being bots because they're so bad at the game. So uh, that says a lot about me. He turns into a bot. <laughs> Ruckus, I think you want to wait for one more. Yeah, we had we had Keith in here, and he, he left. Oh, I'm not interested. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Can somebody add me? Because King Inferno's well. not showing up. What's the? Group? You can't it's copy no INF three R in zero. It's a little hard. To, you can copy and paste it from Discord if it doesn't come. Sorry, who is, who is the last one that wanted in on the squad? Gambari Noah. Bell Murtoc, B E L M U R T O C. Sounds like we got more than four here. No, we I got think we might four. be able to get. I think we got more than. I'm not sure if you can get either four or eight in the squad. I, I'm not. I don't know. I think it might be eight. I might be wrong. Yeah, uh, Shimbo Shinto is also in it to die a bunch. Does somebody else want, wants to join us in yeah. Can Bravada or Apertitsku add me? And if there is. Belmer talk. I have oh, both of you already on my friends list. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, I've, uh, it's you know, the very first time I look at this CQC at all, so do I select Team Deathmatch? Oh, no, you just joined um, the squad. No. So when you're right panel with the friends list usually is, like you'll see uh, someone with a friend that will have like an envelope. If you click on it, it will, do, it will be accept squad requests or words to that effect. Yeah. It's in the, so so it's which mode are we doing? Uh, it looks like I'm... Okay, right. I'm with uh, Sergeant Stubby. Yeah, if you guys get another squad together, we can find a match a lot quicker. If Ruckus, you want to wait just in case we can, you know, we can get all with each other. Yeah, I'm starting up a squad right now, just yeah. if you guys add right. me. Let me know when you guys have four people in a squad. We got four, we Ruckus, four. Kurama, and Gumberry as well as me. Yeah, Gumbari or Gumberry? How, does, how do you pronounce that? Okay, we Gumbari. Gumbari, yeah. Right. Yeah, Are Ravada, you is there a room in yours? Ruckus, are you able to invite more than four people? I don't know yeah. if there is. No. Uh, it's... Okay. It said max invites. Uh, Alright. Yeah, yeah. You guys are in CQC now. 
Yeah, we're doing CQC for a little while, and then we can pop out and do some other stuff. All right, uh, well, Stubby, well, I just had to join you. Okay. Uh, we got a full squad here. It, if you just join another squad and we all queue at the same time, we should get a game with each other, I would assume. Hey, send me a DM if you add me. Um, do I need to go to the main, back to the main menu to join? Anyone want to invite me to the squad? Yeah, you have to get out of the main game. You go to uh, main menu, play, or start, or whatever it is, and then you go to arena. Okay, cool. All right. Um, who do I add to get into the, I guess, second group now? I'm looking for a group. Yeah, who's who's owning the group? Okay, how many Scrolling is it for it. per group? Is it five or four? Four. That's what Total. I'm okay. looking for a group as well. Uh, I don't know what happened. I was with yeah. uh, Sergeant Stubby, but I, 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 I had to back he's... out the main menu real quick. I'm going to add you again. My so do you just want to have on me? Do I have to log uh, out? A series of people here making squads and then go from there. Here, Ruckus, uh, invite someone else. I'm gonna leave this one and I'll just make <laughs> I'll make a new one so it'll be a little bit easier to deal okay. with. It. So can I've... you? I can't see um... a place to accept or send friend requests from the CQC. All right, yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on. It's it's not friend request here on the CQC. It's only inviting people who are on your friends list already. It's a little confusing. Hold on. Uh, who who wants to do it that they know they're on King Inferno's friends list? Because I just left, so I can invite you. Uh, Eminem Seven. Um, I know we are friends. Eminem Seven. No, Murtak, I added you. So. Uh, Zedek, uh, Wolf, I'm on your friends list. All right, Shimmo. Uh, I got you an invite sent. Okay. Uh, All right, oh, Eminem. Oh, God, How many people that. are you in CQC now? Uh, we have at least eight people. What's the? And we're probably gonna have more right now. now? I need um it should be what two more 15 25 can i get an invite yep i'm looking uh so okay so who do the people who are in ruckus's group so i don't invite them uh, i'm in okay if, if you would like to play you need to be in the cqc lobby already 